at Ashby Engineering in Abingdon. And as much as I know a lot about Belia machines from Nev at White House Machine Tools, I now am going to quiz you, Paul, on this machine. This is their most recent purchase. It is, yeah, and I've got a bit of history actually here at um, Ashby Engineering. I actually sold the guys here one of their first multitasking machines back in 2005, so over 15 years ago. They still got the machine? They haven't actually, no. They've, <laughs> they've continued in their progression and they've part exchanged machines for, for newer technology like we see here from uh, White House. And this is a twin spindle, twin turret turning centre. It's a twin spindle, twin turret machine. It's got two Y-axis on it. It's the ultimate in flexibility, really. It's a machine that enables the company to, to run lights out, um, to keep the machine uh, making quality parts to very tight tolerances. Uh, and there's some of the areas that they were really after. So what was the USP about this machine in comparison? Because they do have other machines in their facility. So what was the draw here? And I know one of the draws is the fact that it was ready to go in stock as well. That would be one, yeah, but probably not the most important, no, of, of course, because what you need to get from a machine is is the part out as quickly as possible and as reliably as possible. I think there was two real uh, key drivers for them in the decision that influenced them to make this purchase. The first was which of how they get the components out of the machine. Now they're doing quite a, an intricate brass part here where they need to make sure that the surface finish is really up to scratch. So they need to get the parts off of the machine very safely from the sub spindle out to the uh, hydrofeed rotor rack there. Now the Belia machine has got uh, you know, real attention to detail on how it does that uh, through to the fact that there's a pneumatic air purge almost like on the sub spindle which blows off any coolants or any swarf as the, as the part is ejected. Okay. But then it goes through a very kind of, I can only describe it like a, a soft ejection process where there's no sort of lumps and bumps along the way which ensures them that the parts are going to come off not only precisely because that's what the machine can do mm. but there's going to be no damage in that process as well and customers are requiring this type of accuracy and perfection in parts they are one of the questions i asked uh, paul earlier the operator of this machine is okay if you're running it on um, unmanned for long long hours you mm. have changes in temperature in machine shops you have changes in in tool wear in in, in you know in the areas of where, where the machine's cutting um, what's the first part like compared to the last and he basically said there is no difference yeah and speaking to Nev I know that with Belia they're solid machines these are strong machines so we talked a little bit about accuracy but what was the other reason behind the, the second reason and I think probably um, the most compelling reason is what we have here on the sub spindle now this is almost th this this sub spindle will move backwards and forwards, up and down, as well as in and out, call it, to simplify yeah. it. And what that enables you to do is a few things. Firstly, you can move the second spindle almost out of the way so that you know potential collisions or potential um, creation of tool paths is far easier with a machine Does like this. Does that mean you can put larger billets on there? Does that help with it, that? It would do. It would do. What it would also mean is you could maybe incorporate a tail stock into the to the upper turret or to the bottom turret which means you could support a longer component that's being yeah, yeah. machined in the main spindle that's one reason that the second would be that you can get three tools in cut now that's really really powerful when you're trying to make components faster you know as opposed to doing two cuts and then another cut, yes. you can do all three operations at once, which will reduce that cycle time. And, and we've, out the speed. we've actually talked about that with a lot of kind of sliding head technology because those, as uh, Gia will say, are machines that are just money makers. And you've got that here because it's technically it's superimposed machining. So you're just driving those cycle times down. Yeah, you're, you're, you're hitting the part quicker, faster. In a short exactly. Of time. I think one of the, the, the clever areas is to try and, in UK manufacturing, make components as quickly as possible. But, but not only that, what you've got to ensure is that, you, well, you, there's no collisions. You want to do as many operations as you can at once because that's what gives you that end result. And with this Belia machine, some of those features we've mentioned have allowed Ashby Engineering to do that. Other areas I would talk about is the tool setting. They can check tools in process and things like that which again means that rather than stopping a machine and going in and checking things you can yeah. do it all while the machine's in operation so even when these all these lights are off and it's dark outside yes. 
and you're at home eating your dinner and drinking your glass of wine, this thing is still <laughs> making them money. <laughs> Absolutely, that's what you need, isn't it? Absolutely. And overall, they're very pleased with their purchase? Absolutely, very, very pleased. Talking to Paul and Hashim, um, you know, they are very, very pleased with what White House have delivered, not only on a product, but also the installation, the support, and, you know, the hand-holding when it comes to some of these new features.